Hey, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I've been away for a while. I told you I'd get you a video out in December and here it is. That's going to be short and sweet. I'm really in the middle of packing everything up or unpacking everything uh, from the move from Washington State to Florida. Got here around the 17th, I guess, of November and then the, our stuff arrived in the truck, big 18 wheeler around the 21st of November. And now it's um, the 31st, about 7.55. Uh, Florida time and uh, so this will be a quick video just to show you that I'm still around. I'll uh, be on a regular schedule in January. So I'll be doing two videos out a week, Wednesday and Saturday, just like before. Thank you so much for all of you who stuck around and listen, some folks wanted had some specific requests which I'm not able to do right now. So, um, but I haven't forgotten about you and I have seen that you made the requests. Okay, Donald Trump, is he going to be on the ballot in Colorado? Is Donald Trump going to be on the ballot in Colorado? Let's see what the cards can tell us. Three cards. One, two, three. Will Donald Trump be on the ballot in Colorado after it goes to the federal Supreme Court? Death. Star and the Ten of Pentacles. It's interesting. So death is the end of a cycle, complete end of a cycle. That kind of tells me that maybe he's not going to be on the ballot, but he does show up here as the star, which is that's what he's got going for him, the star power that keeps him so many people interested in him. And this familial uh, generational uh, ongoing wealth. So even though it's the end of of the cycle for him in those two states, it looks like he may get some kind of reprieve on the federal side for the Colorado one. <coughs> now, let's look at the other state. I don't remember what state it is, but like I said, the universe will know. So we'll do this quickly to see how he's going to fare in that other state. Will he actually be on the ballot in the other state? Three cards. One, two, three. Like I said, I know that some people have asked for some specific requests and I will get to them, but I just can't do it now. January will be back on routine, Wednesday and Saturday videos. So the other state, ah, being offered something he doesn't really want, that generational wealth again, and having to make a decision. It looks like in the other state, it's less likely that he's going to be on there. There may be some sort of a consideration that he doesn't want to have. His generational uh, value is uh, what's going to keep him hanging on, but there will be a decision to, be, to make. And if it's a compromise, he's not going to do it. So I think in the second state, which I can't remember the name of it, I think it's Michigan, but I'm not sure. Um, he might get a chance to be on the ballot, but he won't um, take a deal in that regard. And then... As far as Donald Trump and all of the suits that he's got against him right now, col uh, collaboratively, will he overall be a winner or a loser? Overall, he might win some, he might lose some. Three cards to see how bad it'll be or how good it'll be for him in all of the suits all together. <coughs> so the five of cups is um, is um, having lost a lot but a little bit left to go. The ten of the ninety cups is being happy to display your wares and the sun is a star card. He's going to get some sort of a reprieve on all of that. One more draw. Will he be in the presidential race?
even if it's without a couple of states. Knight of Wands, he will fight for his action. Remember the way things were. <coughs> and the sun, yeah, he'll be on the ballot. So he does not give up and he keeps on going. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so this is the newest deck I've got. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. Um, it's just another take on uh, from Los Scarbio on um, the um, the classic Rider Waite Tarot. But uh, apparently this person, Wise, has had their input into it. And uh, the, what I love about it, first of all, it's got a great container. I always feel like what I think of when I open these containers is if I got this as a gift, what would I think about it? And I think, well, this is very nice. When you get into the box... I mean, it gives you a hint right from the beginning what you're going to see. It's a close-up of the cards in kind of rich color with kind of a, a tinged uh, overtone to kind of give it an antique look, in my opinion. Anyway, the cards themselves, I'll go over, but I want to tell you first about the instruction booklet. And, you know, it's a typical instruction booklet that you get with any of these decks. It's in a few different languages, and it just gives you some basic uh, uh, meanings of how to divide the cards. But what's good about it and is that it gives you a really terrific uh, synopsis of uh, how uh, this uh, uh, Rider Waite uh, system was developed and when and by who. It talks a, a little enough about Arthur Waite and Pamela Coleman Smith, who were the creators of this and the Kabbalistic uh, theory and history of all of that. Um, it, is, it gives you a real quick mention about the Golden Dawn, which is very significant to the development of these cards. And then it gives you a really great little section about, about how to read the tarot and storytelling through the, the cards. So I like the little book. I mean, it's nothing earth shattering. It's not information that most people don't know, but it is uh, interesting. Now, the cards themselves, they got a cool back. They're kind of shiny. And um, you're going to see that kind of what they are is like they've kind of made a close up of the typical tarot uh, images and then colored them in very vibrantly and then oversprayed the whole thing with sort of an antique kind of a, a feel. So they're great for me. I've got a few uh, vision problems and so in that they're close up but they're still vibrant with color and I think these are going to look great on the camera. Uh, I like to uh, spread the cards out like this for a couple of reasons. One is it's a good way to show you uh, more than a couple of cards that you get to see in the typical tarot drawing. And that's something that I always wanted to see. I wanted to know more about what the cards I was looking at before I was making the videos. And number two, it's a good way to um, shuffle the cards up without damaging them too much. And if you're reading for someone else, then there's a third uh, benefit, is that you can let someone else do this kind of spread around if they're not comfortable with making a shuffle. or, or And then you kind of get their energy into the cards. So this is the uh, Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot. And I just like them a lot. So this will be my newest deck. Well, coming back tomorrow, I'll be doing it all again. So ciao for now.